so we have started with uh, uh, dynamic arrays so in previous session we have discussed uh, about the syntax of dynamic arrays and uh, how they are different from uh, fixed size arrays uh, like that so we'll, in the session we will uh, give a brief intro brief brush up about this dynamic arrays and we will continue further so wait a minute so we have started uh, with a topic called dynamic arrays so the syntax for dynamic arrays is data type i am taking reg followed by any name of the array followed by empty square braces so this is the syntax for a dynamic array and we have discussed how these dynamic arrays are different from fixed size arrays these dynamic arrays in the case of dynamic arrays there is no need to specify the size of the array uh, at the time of compile time so at, at compile time we will not declare the size no size declaration so at the run time we will declare the size of the dynamic array by using the by using a keyword called new so by using the keyword new we will declare the size of the dynamic array so uh, let's take an example here so uh, let's take a uh, logic a so this is a dynamic array and uh, within a module and within initial begin and block so within initial begin and block we will declare the size of the dynamic array by using the keyword new so if we give 4 then an array of 4 locations will be created like this so this is a dynamic array initially we are not giving we are not specifying any size here but within an initial beginning block with, with the help of the keyword new we will allocate the size to this dynamic array and we, we can assign elements to this array example 1 2 4 5 so this array will contain elements 1 2 4 and 5 so with the help of the keyword new we will create a dynamic array and a memory will be created for that and if we have a is equal to new of uh, 6 then an array of 6 locations will be created like this there will be 6 locations and you can uh, you can use uh, this method which we are using previously also for storing the content into the array or else you can use for each loop for storing the elements into the array for storing the elements into array for example uh, you can use for each a of i begin a of i is equal to and in this so when i is equal to 0 a of 0 is equal to 0 when i is equal to 1 then a of 1 is equal to 1 and a of 2 will be equal to 2 a of 3 will be equal to 3 so on so in the if the size of the array is 5 then the elements in the array will be 1 2 sorry 0 1 2 3 4 so like this we can store the elements into this dynamic array and we can create the dynamic arrays with the help of the keyword new so is this clear right about dynamic arrays so now let's discuss one more concept uh, let's say i have created a dynamic array of logic data type logic a this is a dynamic array i have created and within initial begin block initial 
begin end block what i'm doing is i'm allocating the size to this dynamic array say a is equal to new of 3 and i'm allocating some three elements into this dynamic array so a dynamic array of three locations will be created like this so this dynamic array will have three locations and three elements will be stored into this dynamic array like this we can store three elements into this dynamic array so what if i want to extend the size of the dynamic array from three to five that is i want two more locations extra so in this case i have two options so option one is So I want to increase the size, I want to increase the number of locations from 3 to 5 or 3 to any number. In this case I am considering 3 to 5. So I have two options. This is option number 2. So in option number 1 I can simply write A is equal to new of 5. So this is option number 1 and in option number 2. I will write a is equal to new of 5 followed by wait a minute followed by a so if I want to increase the size of the dynamic array then I have two options I want to increase the size of the dynamic array from 3 to 5 locations then ha then I have two options one is this method and another is this method. So, what happens in method 1? Let us see what happen, what is happening in method 1. So, I am using a is equal to new of 5. Initially, the size of the array is 3. Initially, I have declared a is equal to new of 3 and I have stored some 3 elements in this in my array. Let us say this is my array with 3 locations. I have 2, 5, 7 stored in my array and I want 2 more locations to be created and I want 2 more elements to be stored in this extra 2 locations. So in method 1 what I am doing is simply writing a is equal to new of 5. See here what happens if we write directly a is equal to new of 5 then the array which is containing 2, 5, 7 will uh, these elements will be erased so what happens here is a new array with five locations will be created one two three four five one two three four five and a fresh array with five locations will be created and the uh, old elements that is two five seven will be erased and a fresh empty array will be created if we write a is equal to new of five so the old elements will be erased in the method 1. So if we want the previous elements to be restored and without uh, deleting the previous elements we, we need two more locations to be created and we need to add two elements in that array then we will use method 2. Here elements will not be deleted, will not be deleted. So what is the syntax for this? Syntax is a is equal to new of phi count in the brackets a. So here what happens? We have our previous array which is containing three locations. In three locations we have three elements 257. So if we use this method 2 then what happens? A new array with two more extra locations will be created restoring the previous elements. 257 will be restored and two more locations will be created empty locations will be created these two are empty so we can store two more elements in this empty locations so these are the two methods where if we want to uh, increase the size of the array so this is how we will increase the size of the dynamic array so is this clear These two methods are clear, right? So this is a important interview point. So remember these two methods. So this is clear. Can we move forward? So 
let's code something so that it will be more easy to understand i think it is uh, clear okay so let us create a module called dynamic underscore example so in this uh, I am declaring two dynamic arrays dynamic array d y and another dynamic array int ok I will use only one dynamic array here so within an initial begin and block I will allocate the size to this dynamic array is equal to new of and uh, I will allocate so there is no need to mention this braces yeah. so I will allocate some five elements to this 0, 4, 3, 2 I will display it in the content HP comma by now after one time unit what I will do I want to extend the size of the dynamic array so I will use method to new of I want to increase the size to 7 so I am using method 2 here dyn and so here I will display the size of the dynamic array also it will be more here the size of the dynamic array 1 is percentage d so for displaying the size we will use d dot size it is an inbuilt operator array dot size and now I will display the size of the so the size of the dynamic array is percentage d after adding two more elements comma dyn dot size I don't know. Yeah. And uh, I will allocate two more elements also. Dy n is equal to. Okay. First, I will display what are the contents in this uh, new dynamic array. So, dollar display the new array is percentage p comma di dy n yeah. so now I will use the second uh, first method of copying uh, sorry of increasing the dynamic array I will increase the size to 9 now let's display the size of the array also and I will display the array also and end in this initial beginning block and module so yeah uh, basically I have created a dynamic array first I have uh, created five locations and I am trying to increase the size to 7 and I am displaying the size and the content and after one time unit I am increasing the size to 9 and I am displaying the size and content so let's see what we are getting here so let me compile it wait a minute wait i started recording it yeah so i will simulate it see so initially my content of dynamic array is 0 4 
3, 2, 1 and the size of the dynamic array is 5. This is the initial array. And next, the size of dynamic array is 7 after adding two more elements. So, I have created a dynamic, I have extended the size of the dynamic array from 5 to 7 by using method 2. So, the new array consists of the elements 0, 4, 3, 2, 1 and two more zeros ha has been appended to this dynamic array dyn1 and the size of the dyn1 is 9 after adding two more elements and I have created and I have extended the size of the dynamic array by using method 1. So here we can see all the previous elements were erased and uh, the dynamic array is now empty. It is filled with zeros. So this is how the dynamic array size is extended uh, by using method 2 and method 1. So this is clear for everyone. Is there any doubt? So after creating uh, this dynamic array uh, for showing one more function what I will do is I will delete the dynamic array using the function delete. So this, fun this function will basically delete all the elements in the dynamic array. Let me display this dynamic array after using delete function is uh, percentage p comma dy one. Let me save this and uh, compile it. So here we can see dynamic array after using delete function is null. Here we are not having at least zeros also stored in this array. We are having null. So here we can see after using the delete function, we are getting a null array. We don't have zeros also in this array. So this is how the dynamic array will look like after using the delete function. So this is about uh, dynamic arrays in system with log. So we have completed our dynamic arrays in uh, system with log. So if you are having any, is this clear for you? Yeah, hello. Yeah. yeah, sir, one actually one doubt that uh, yeah. you said that uh, if we won't uh, use any uh, directly uh, copy the, I mean, if we directly extend the array, it will be vanish the previous values, right? Yes. So if I want to, uh, do with the previous values, could it possible that? Yeah, we have used a method to write. Wait, I will show you. It's one I did not. Yeah, wait, I will show you. So, by using this method, we can uh, retain the old values. Okay. This method. And uh, one more thing, uh, if I want to write the data in middle of that uh, extended array, could it possible? Uh, no it's like okay it's yeah. like actually uh, uh first of all we have been made the array at uh, size of five mm. so then again we extended to array of size yes so previous will be will be up to uh total is one zero two three four five five values are stored yes so there will be a uh, remaining two extra two, uh, space, uh, two values of space yes yeah so from there i could I want to start that uh, writing process for the next one. Yes, we can store. There is like a chance. That. 